hello brothers and sisters welcome to my channel it's a very uh, good privilege to have you here um, on my channel again to sit here and have a word with you peace be upon you all I want to thank you all who uh, who have participated in the fasting and see finally this is our last day uh, of, our, of our fasting uh, of our five days fasting for this month may the Lord bless you all um, that participated in this fasting I'm not going to be too long here um, I do not have a word from the Lord but I have what he is feeling on the heart what he has put on my heart and I would want to share with you as you see me uh, full with joy um, it is what the Lord has for us in the room now you know how we limit the power of God in our lives when we do not believe when we do not believe this is how we limit his power to move in our lives when you have doubting you know you would declare something but you will be like after you think about it and then you're like no I don't think this can happen I don't think this can take place I don't think there can be a breakthrough here I don't think there can be a change here you get what I'm saying but uh, once you you, you, you you say this to the Lord and you forget about it like what I have been telling you that when you need something you don't have to cry you don't have to mourn to people you don't have to look for ways of how you can get yourself out of the situation but you just have to talk to the Lord you have to talk to the Lord you have to talk to the father father now you see here is the pain the pain is here the pain is here you see it's not moving here I need a job I need a business I need this I need a house to stay I need food in the house you see I don't have food in the house but you see it seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you you say do not worry of what you shall eat tomorrow wear tomorrow no drink tomorrow you say that to him you know now see father I don't have food in my house father see I do not have clothes father see now I'm lacking I need to, to take care of my family I don't have a job my lord but I will stay strong and I will seek you as you said I should we, we should seek you first and all these things will be added down to you you know now father keep your word in me keep your word in me my lord you know fulfill your word to me as I fulfill your will I fulfill your wish you see and when you sit down and seek the Lord wholeheartedly, you know, you observe the way you talk to people, you observe, you, you make changes in your life from that old person to this new person. Now you're like, now nah, I need to make a change. I need to change the, my cycle, the, my, my, um, the, the people that are around me. I need to change this. The people around me, the people I associate, I associate with. I need to change this, you know. You sit down and make this mathematics. You change it yourself, you know. You take a step. As you take a step, he's there watching you. He's watching your effort. And in that way, he comes to you and he helps you, you know. And he helps you get out of that because with our strength we cannot do it by ourselves but we have to take a step we have you have to show your efforts you have to show your deeds you have to take a step yourself you know and then in that way he comes and meets you halfway you see and then in that way you can ask for anything that you want and he can do it he's a father a good what are you talking about what are you talking about who are you following that you you don't know who you are following are you following the Lord with your eyes closed like this whoa what do you know this person can speak do you know Jesus Christ still lives if you you just read in the Bible and it says Jesus Christ still lives you just read in the Bible but hey do you know do you believe it do you believe it do you believe it he's waiting for you to believe it he can speak you can feel him he can speak he can hear 
He can see. He is there. Jesus is there. He is real. It's just that he is too mighty. You know, he is too mighty to appear to us. He's too mighty to appear to us. If it, was, if it wasn't of his mightiness, he would have surely appeared to anybody that asked, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? They say he's resurrected, but where is he? They say Jesus is, is, is the son of God. But where is he? I want to see him. He would have proved himself to everybody in this way. But he's too big. And we are very little. We are very small. You know? But in this way, he helps us in a way that we can understand him. You know? When you are down and he gives you that comfort. You know, you just feel the comfort from nowhere, just like that. You know, uh, when you're sick and he heals you, just like that. Maybe you can take uh, tablets. Some people take tablets and they they, they, they get uh, healed. They, they they think it's the tablets that uh, have healed them. But when you pray over those tablets and you 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 take them, it's it's the Lord that has healed you. You know, He heals in a way that you don't understand according to your faith. You see, and there are those that do not even take tablets at all, but they just lay their hands there and they say, Lord, you are there. Now you see my doctor, you, my doctor, here's the pain, take it away, <laughs> you know, and he does it. Now me, I'm one of those people who doesn't take medication. I don't do that. I do not do that because my body is his temple. I don't need anything and I do not need that. I don't need that. If he lives inside there, and if sickness will bow down to him, why do I take in tablets unnecessarily? I don't do that. I just say, Lord, now you see, here is the pain. May you take it away. My doctor, my father, father, call him father. You call him father. You call him father. Okay, now do not limit the power of God. Do not limit the power of God in your life. Do not limit it. But come to the full believing. Okay, let go of everything. Let go. Forget. Let go. Let go. Whatever the pain, whatever the situation, whatever the problems, whatever the, whatever it is, whatever. It's, many people have gone through those problems that you say are so difficult for you, yourself. Maybe the world is hating you. Everybody's hate. They don't want to help. Let go of that. Let go. Don't even think about it. That problem is not way too bigger than Jesus Christ. It's not. Jesus is bigger than that problem. You see, he's the God of the impossible. He is not the God of possibility. He is the God of the impossible. Where there is impossibility, where everybody's running away, is where he's standing. <laughs> you see, where everybody's running away is where he stands. They say, no, this is impossible. This is there. There is where you find him. You see, there is where you find him. Where there is no hope, where there is no nothing. You know, there is no future. You see, there, there is only uh, um, what is it called? Um, brokenness. Where you see there is a uh, um, what is it called? Um, crookedness. Crookedness. Where there is crookedness. You know, where there is crookedness. There is where he is. There is where you see him. There is where you see him. Then you're reading a word and he said, For I am the one that makes the crooked upright. Way. <laughs> yes. You know, do not limit the Lord. Do not limit the Lord. Don't. Let go. Let go of everything. Don't let go. Whatever the sickness, just say it to him. That's all. Remember in our previous word, he said, declare. Now, they should declare. Now, you should declare. He also should declare. You've been praying, Lord, hear this. He is this, this and that. Then you pray, sickness, you got sickness in your body, you got this, you got a problem. What? What is it? You're crying to the one above all these things. He said, no, see, I have declined in my spiritual life. See, I've got this, I've, I'm, 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 I have this, this spirit of lies. I cannot overcome. See, I doubt you. See, uh, uh, masturbation. See, why, Lord, if you come, I'm going to You've been crying this to him. But now he says, start to declare, come on, come on, come on, last, get, get behind me. Say this way. Say, last, get behind me. Now, command, say that. If you don't want to say, I will command for you. 
if you don't want to say that, I will say that for you. Maybe you haven't understood. You haven't understood that he came to bring power over Satan. Maybe you haven't understood that. Let me teach you something he taught me when I was, um, when I was outside the streets. Something he taught me. He said, um, this world was created for you. He said that to me. The world was created for you. The world was created for Jesus Christ. And if Jesus is the Son of God, and if we have believed in God through Jesus Christ, then we too own what was given to Jesus, the world, the power, the whatever it is, this, the, everything that you see in the whole world, even the heavens, everything that you see was created for you and me. That's what the Lord, the, the Spirit of the Lord was teaching me in that time. He said, everything that you see was created for you. Created for you. You see? And Jesus is the firstborn. And Jesus is the firstborn. Now you are the secondborn. Now, because Satan has, has because Satan, um, because Satan disobeyed God. Because he is of evil, not of good. He, he, he comes and takes what belongs to you. He comes and takes what belongs to you. Make you cry, make you sad, get you in those situations. You see, by then, that, that, by then when I was in that hard situation, where there was no job, there was no house, there was no nothing, there was no food, there was no what. So this is what the Lord was teaching me, was saying to me, encouraging me. He said, it is in your hands to command him. But because you do not have power, that is why I came down, that I may finish him. I rebuked him from above. I chased him away from up there. You see? I chased him from up there. Now he came here that he may do what? Oppress you. To oppress you. But I came down to finish him up. To close his chapter. That he may have no way to stand. Now you know there is no way he can stand. Because I, I chased him from above and, and on earth as well. I overpowered him from above. And I came down. I didn't leave it just like that because I knew he's coming for you. He's coming for you. So I have to protect you. That's what the Lord was teaching me at that time. He said, that's why I came down. I came down. The, the angels couldn't overpower him. But only I could do it. Because I love you. You are my child. You are my second boy. Now that is why I came down. To defeat him the second time. To defeat him the second time. And the third time is also coming. The third time is also coming. That is a time where he will be thrown into the lake of fire. He's already defeated up there. That's when he was thrown down with his pride. And then when he come here. The Lord came down again and overpowered him and he's yet to completely abolish him so now you see that the power is in your hands the power is in our hands the authority is in our hands Satan is very under us is very under us because if Jesus is our firstborn and we are the second one. And our father is up there. And our father rebuked him both on up and here on earth. Then what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Don't you see that the power and authority is in our hands? Don't you see that he is very small? Very smaller than us? Do you not see? 
That's what the Lord was teaching me there. And in that way, there was witchcraft being operated around me. Many people planned to do harm on me by that time. But when the Lord taught me this, I got my confidence. My confidence. And I had to fight the situation. And I took myself out of the situation. And I claimed what belonged to me. I claimed what belonged to me. I took it. I said, let go of Satan of what belongs to me. Because the things happen spiritually, you do not see them. He takes hold of your job. He takes hold of your health. You see? He brings sickness. He brings that poverty. That, that, that's why you see it is written that for the enemy cometh not but to steal, to kill, to steal, to steal, to steal, you see? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. To steal, to take what belongs to you because it is already given to you. It belongs to you. He has nothing in common with you. He has nothing. He is very small, very little, very little. You see? He is very small, very little. This earth that you see, it is about you, Jesus, and God, the Father. This territory that you see, it's like a business. It's like a territory. It's like a, it's like, that you see, what the, that, this that you see, just the way you see a company, a company. That is being headed by a, a father and then a son, a father. And they talk, you know, to one another. They know how they run the business. So this that's what the, the, the Spirit of the Lord was teaching me by then. He said, this, this, this earth, everything I created is just about you and me. And the Lord is the firstborn. You are the secondborn. And we have overpowered Satan, both in heaven and in earth. But time is coming where I will take you with. But as of now, you have to endure. You have to endure his threats. He just comes to threaten you. Just to threaten nothing. Just to threaten. If you, if you knew that Satan is also afraid of you. You would not say, I got sickness. You would not say, I got sickness. Uh-uh. Whatever the pain is, whatever, what, whatever it is, whatever it's turning to say, here, Father, in the name of Jesus, here is the pain. May you blow it away. May you take it away. Or else, just command it. I command you out. No, just be rude to the situation. Be rude to the situation. Be rude. Create a change yourself. Create a change yourself. Create a change. Create a change. Create a change yourself. Do not sit and keep quiet. No, no. The territory was made for you and Jesus Christ. For you and Jesus Christ. And Jesus is your head. Is the firstborn. And you are the secondborn. Jesus is the firstborn, and you are the secondborn. He overpowered him up there, and he came down as well. Do you see how powerful he is? How great he is? He's like, no, I will not leave it just like this. My child is down there. I have to take those keys. I have to bring power to my child. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see? That's why you see he came. That's why you see he came. You see? That's why you see he came. You see? You see that? Do you see? <laughs> you see? Now, it is you, yourself, to command whatever they say to What? What is it? What is it? You need what? What do you need? What do you need? What is it? What is happening in your family, in your relationships, with your, with your husband, with your wife, your children? Don't stress about it. Talk. Command. Command. Let's command. You see? Where is the sickness? Touch out, you see, Satan. Get behind those bad thoughts that come in. It is him, 
you see to get you in that in that uh, uh, in in uh, in uh, in that state where he can now run and say now look what your child is thinking look what you see to get you to always accuse you you see all those battles when they come like they said get behind me satan behind you take that hey listen satan get behind me now in the name of jesus christ apply the scriptures apply the word you see when you see you cannot fast anymore you 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 decline in the spiritual stand up don't cry stand up i say no i cannot fast anymore i cannot pray what are you talking about what are you talking about what are you talking about stand stand up and command the enemy the, you see that principality command to say it out say it out say i command that demon i command whatever you say this word you say uh, 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 say whether you are great or small or a man or a woman whatever you are whatever principle whatever it is whatever you are whoever you are i command you satan get behind me now in the name of jesus christ just just talk even when it's whatever principality it is whatever whatever darkness whatsoever it is written every knee shall bow and every tongue every name shall confess that jesus is lord and savior that jesus <laughs> not any other name but jesus you command you command it you command it you see there is a principality behind that slumbering of yours that backsliding you see you you now watching tv you you know the person that watch this 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 worldly things you know the, you know you're like i'm watching this but it's not me you know you're engaging in gossiping but this is not me you know why am i doing this thing do not take time stand up come go attack that demon attack it it is entering into your territory it's not supposed to stand there it's got not nothing in common with you it's got nothing in common with you it's nothing it is nothing it's very little very small it was overpowered jesus overpowered it it's nothing it's nothing so now do you see that people choose to be what satisfies their hearts do you see people just choose to be what satisfies their hearts but then if you sit and command the demon behind lust the demon behind pride the demon behind pride the demon that demon behind pride you will see you will see yourself hating the beauty of this world you will see yourself hating the beauty of this world you will hate if you command pride out because god does not take pleasure in a prideful heart not at all come against the things that god hates now you know what i even didn't plan to talk about this but we thank the lord i want to say to you that I want to say I want to say to you that thank the Lord of what he is doing in your life. Many of you will testify surely. You will testify. You will testify in different areas. You will testify. You have been faithful with the Lord in the fasting. I haven't been taking care of this fasting but it is the Lord. It is him. Many of you are going to testify. Because the Lord has done it again. He did it and he has done it again. Whatever you've been praying about. Now, I want somebody 
I want somebody to touch where where it is hurting. What is where is it paining? Touch there. Where is it hurting? Where is it hurting? The Lord has filled me with great joy. And he just saying to me uh, by his spirit, it is done. He has done it. He's doing it. I do not know what, but surely I know that there is something. And in his own timing, it will manifest. And in your life as well, you will testify. Many of you will be filled with joy. And even as now, you're filled with joy. You feel there is an expectation of something. An expectation of something you do not even see. You do not even know where it's coming from or what. You just feel there is something in an expectation. Something. 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 Something expected. To something to happen. But you don't know what. Just thank the Lord. When you feel like, just thank the Lord. Just thank Him. Say, Lord, let your will be done. I thank you, my Lord, because you've done it. Today, I'm listening to um, um, to a song called Omema. Omema by Judy K. Omema by Judy K. Um, it has been a blessing to me. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are rich. Do you know the Lord is so rich? The Lord is so rich that He can uh, supply you with great, great power in a way that you just walk out there. You just walk out there. You lay your hands on a person and you change their lives. You change their lives. That's one thing that the Lord is pleased about. And that's one thing that He wants us to do. You lay your hands on a person. The life of a person is changed. And just a twinkling of an eye. But that also comes about believing in the power of the Lord, believing in Jesus Christ. Father, I want to thank you. May you touch whatever, whatever, whatever the pain, whatever whatever touch whatever the pain is, touch whatever. Oh Jesus. Touch whatever, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you, Lord, and I want to bless your name, Father. I thank you, God, for being with us in this very hour. From the beginning to the end. My Lord, as it was said in the secret, may it be done, Jesus Christ. May you glorify yourself in us may you glorify yourself Jesus may you glorify yourself oh Lord may you glorify yourself in us may you show yourself may you reveal yourself in our lives may you reveal yourself Jesus for we seek you we long for you see our hearts are widely open for you oh Lord our hearts our hearts Lord, our hearts, our hearts. Lord, I pray that you touch somebody. Lord, I pray as you're sitting on your throne. Lord, as it was said in the secret. As it was said in the secret. May it be done. Father, may you touch where there is. Pain. Father, where there is brokenness, 
May you remand it, O oh Lord. For we know that you are the healer. We know that you, we know. You brought healing. Lord, we know, we know. Thank you because it is done. Thank you, Jesus, and we bless your name, my God. Amen. If the Lord, if the Lord has done something for you, come and testify to us, because we like family. We are family. Your testimony builds my faith. Another one is testimony builds my faith. Another one is testimony. Another one, another one, another one builds. Another one is faith. Another one is testimony. Do not let situations bring you down, but speak over situations. Do not let situations bring you down. You are not small before situations, but you are small before God. You are big before situations. You are Jesus Christ because he lives inside of you. You are Jesus. Believe this today. When you feel a little bit of headache, do not say, I have a headache. Do not say, I have a headache. When you feel pain somewhere, do not say, I got a pain. No. Settle it in your mind. Every knee shall bow. Get out. Every knee shall bow to the Lord. Settle it in your mind. You are above that sickness. You are above that situation. Do not even set your focus there. Do not. Do not. I would testify to you that since that time, from that time when the Lord touched me, touched my heart and healed me, I do not easily fall sick. I do not easily fall sick. I do not easily. Even a little headache. I do not easily. Not easily. Not a little pain. From that time he healed me. From that time I touched his power. From that time he breathed in my heart. It still lives inside of me. And I still follow that. I still believe on that. I will say to the Lord, whether it happens or it doesn't happen, only He knows. But I know it will be as I have asked, because I know He wishes good for me as His child. Have the same attitude. Whatever the situation is, just say to the Lord, Whatever it is, just say it and sit and relax. Read your Bible. See that there is a difference between you and the person of the world. The people that you see are wicked have allowed Satan to take over what belongs to them. To take over their kingdom. To take over their territory. And remember, Satan comes with evil, not with good. But you, because you say, get out. This is my place. I have nothing in common with you. He gets out. He stays away. Because the territory, this world, was created for you. Not for Satan. Now know how you balance your world. Know how you balance with the nature of your father in heaven. You own it. Do not let people come 
and upset you because you yourself own the world. Do not let people talk to you in a way that will upset you. But keep quiet and look at them, at those that do not understand, that do not understand who they are talking to. So keep your mouth shut because you are above them. They do not know what they're talking about. They want to talk about matters that do not matter at all, issues that do not matter at all. They want to insult you. They want to hate you. Do not even set your heart there. Don't even set your mind there. You are bigger than that. You are so big. So bigger than that. Very bigger than that. Your wisdom is so bigger than that. Not that conversation. Not that argument. Not that. Not that. Just say, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Then walk away. Do not even let it upset you. Not at all. Don't even set your mind there. Don't. Because you are so big. You are so big. You carry Jesus Christ. Who can come and start insulting Jesus and upset him? Who? What can you say to him to upset him? Because he's of good, not of evil. And he does not bring evil into him. No. Only goodness dwells in him. So don't let evil come and dwell in you. Ah, you are of good, not of evil. Let go. Don't even set your ear. Don't even set your ears there. Rebuke them because you govern. It is you that's going to judge them. You're going to judge the angels. You're going to judge this world. You're going to judge the angels. So when you see evil, where the Spirit of the Lord is leading you, say, now, tell them, it is so bad to talk about a person when they're not here. What if it was you? Stop it or else you will perish in hell. Do not adorn in the beauty of this world. That makeup that you see can lead you somewhere you don't want to be. Just because you want to look beautiful for the people, tell that to them. Do you not see that pride comes out of that makeup? Because you want people to look at you and appreciate you. Your hairstyles, you do like this. You do like that. that is that no pride? You want people to see you. God hates pride. There is where sin came from. That's why you see there is sin in the world. Tell this to them. That's why you see sin in the world. It's because of pride. You say, no, it's just for beauty. I'm, 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 I just do it for my soul. To look beautiful as a woman. Say no. You lie to yourself. With God. He can never be pleased with this. It is okay for you to adorn in that makeup. He could be okay with it. He could be okay with it. But with him. He's not looking at your beauty. You're already beautiful before him. He's just looking at what is going to come out of that. Because before man falls. God already knows. God is already standing before man falls. He has already foreseen what is the evil behind makeup? What is the evil behind hairstyles? What is, e what is the evil behind wearing pants? Pants. When the woman will wear pants, let me see, okay. When the woman will wear pants, they will walk around and men will look at them and they will last. Because their whole body is shaped out. The whole structure of their body is shaped out. When they wear these tight clothes, their whole body will be shaped out. And the men will look at them and they will last. And I do not like, I do not like last. I hate last. So, to keep the men on a safe side, I do not permit women. I do not permit women. To wear clothes that reveal their bodies I do not permit them not to even wear to dress like men to, 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 to look like men but I want them to be like a noble woman real woman you see you see how God has thought about all of us in this way okay
May the peace of the Lord be upon you all. May the Lord bless you. Check out me and uh, my emails. You'll find that in the description button just down there. You can download this song and listen to it and praise the Lord with you. Thank the Lord. Dance for the Lord uh, at the end of our fasting. Today is our last day of our fasting and we see you again. I see you again in, um, in, in our next fasting and as of this you all know that as the love we have for the father we do not end on this fasting but we have our own fasting you see like in a week you fast two days three days like this you go like that you go you know like this you do not quench the spirit you know you have to keep it constant flowing constant flowing to avoid that 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 backsliding to avoid that slumbering to avoid that you know keep on fasting to avoid it keep on fasting because you don't want to be in that you don't want to feel that you know that kind of feeling you cannot pray you cannot fast you cannot read the Bible you see that kind of feeling you see it's very very bad now you don't want to be in that feeling now make it keep it constant keep it constant keep it constant okay the name of the song is is Omema Omema by Judy K I like it and I am blessed with it may the Lord deal with you all. Bye.